Hey everybody, my name is Trevor, and today I wanted to unbox, well not technically unbox this, I've already unboxed it about a month and a half ago, and I've been daily driving for the same month and a half. This, it is the TCL 10 Pro. So this is TCL's flagship style phone. It's not, when you compare it to other phones, it's not technically a flagship compared to them. Only has a 7 series Snapdragon processor, but for TCL, this is the most expensive and the all-around best phone they currently make. Now, it retails for $449. You can routinely find this on Amazon or Best Buy for, you know, around about $399, something like that, with activation promos, or Amazon is always running 15 to 20% off deals for this device since TCL is such a huge partner with Amazon. Um, and I actually snagged this one on Prime Day. So Prime Day, this was a 25% off purchase, and it was a little bit more than, you know, $390, I think, uh, all said and told. Um, so not not terrible at all for um, what is a 6.5-inch 1080p display with a 6 gigs of RAM phone, four cameras on the back, a pretty decently sized battery at 4,500 milliamp hours, HDR10, AMOLED curved display and a 128 gig uh, storage option. So this is the box that it came in. As you can see, I already did uh, open the box. I actually, this was probably the most painful box to open. It's not going to get it on camera. I missed this piece of tape seven times with the scissors, so I ended up using a box cutter to actually open the damn box. Uh, but this is the retail box. First impressions of it, I really like the retail box. I like the whole kind of like this little like corner, this edge to edge screen, uh, you know, like branding there it gives you a lot of the specs that you really care about, especially for a phone made by a TV manufacturer. TCL, as I said in that first video about the 5G uh, ultra wideband phone, my first video, that cringe fest, um, I said that, that that TCL makes TVs and they're that TV manufacturer that you probably can't name off the top of your head. But you've seen all their TVs before, you know, from Best Buy, Target, Walmart, Sam's Club, Costco, different places like that that sell those Roku built-in TVs for pretty dirt cheap. Um, yeah, that's where this TV, or I'm sorry, that's where this phone comes from as a TV manufacturer. So you know the display is going to be prioritized. Again, HDR10 on a 6.5-inch display with AMOLED that is curved. So definitely a premium display style. Um, and yes, they did cut... a couple of corners in different areas, which I'll talk about, but display is where this phone really wants to make its mark. So when we open this box, which is still, believe it or not, with the tape off, a pain to open. Little tray here that I will let Bella, the good girl, over there, Bella. Want this? Go play with this. She can play with that. You guys basically heard her in the last video. I figured I might as well bring her out. Uh, in this, you get a SIM tool. I have taken that out and since used it for various other projects. Um, I like the unboxing presentation that TCL actually has with this. It's really nice, very simplistic, very modern uh, design. If you're a nerd like me, you actually care about the unboxing experience. A lot of people don't, which is fine. I'm a freak. I actually do enjoy it. When you open this tab up, which is actually incredibly difficult right now. I don't know why that's so tough. And by the way, for those of you on Bella Watch, she has since ignored the tray I gave her and is now gone for something completely different on the uh, bottom of the table. All right, so out of the tray, you get your quick start guide, you get your safety and precautions. Um, there's a lot of language here. Don't eat the phone, I guess. That would be my safety precaution for you. Uh, in here... On the top is your USB cord, on the bottom is your wall adapter, and I'll get into some other extras later that came in the box. But as you can see, I've already taken it out. Uh, this actually protects the metal prongs of the wall adapter, which is a pretty not thought about thing. Yeah, I knew it. She's now playing with a ball. I'm so done. This is the uh, charging brick that it came with. This is a, uh, capable, a brick capable of fast charging, excuse me. Uh, USB type A import slot uh, for the cord, and you'll see why that makes sense in a minute. Because the cord, which is decent size, all said and done, pretty decent size, gets from the bottom of uh, my nightstand, the surge protector down there, to the phone very easily. 
USB type A to USB type C. That's the charging cord. One other thing came in the box with this phone and it is this. It is this case that is a fingerprint magnet. Um, I promise my hands are not this greasy in real life. It is a clear case and I got this phone right when it was about to cool down for fall, but it was still warm. So there was some moisture on there. You can see it says display greatness. You have room for all your cameras, your cutouts and your uh, various buttons on the side. Um, a lot of people didn't think this case was really nice to look at because of the display greatness monitor on here. I actually don't mind it. I don't really care when people put branding on their phones. I actually like to sport those logos. Um, it doesn't make me a corporate sellout. I'm sure it does, but you know what? It looks kind of cool to me, a little bit different. I'd rather have this little attention to detail than a very clear kind of boring case for lack of a better term. So before we see the uh, phone, really quickly about the phone, um, it comes in two different colors, uh, mint, forest, green, and ember gray. One thing I will say about the box, I didn't get this color. This was the gray colored box and the gray phone ships with a different wallpaper than this. So this is kind of a little bit mixed up. I don't know if that's intentional or not. The uh, mint forest green that I got was brand new on Prime Day. They didn't have it for a couple months since this phone came out. This phone is not that new. It's a few months old for sure. And they've had the gray for a while and they finally just released the mint forest green in the United States. As far as connectivity for the phone, you have all your major GSM bands and your band 13 for LTE use on Verizon. So you can use this on Verizon. And before I switched to AT&T, I did use that phone only on Verizon and it worked perfectly fine. Calls and text messages were clear, used a uh, voice over LTE, uh, voicemail, all that good stuff was fine. Data speeds were completely fine. I just switched to AT&T because it was a little bit cheaper at the time. So with AT&T, with a SIM card for AT&T in there, it's just fine. And now we have the device. So you saw me holding this earlier in that 5G ultra wideband video. I love this color. Now, when I actually did a round to talking about the OnePlus 8, which is by far my favorite smartphone of this year and indeed of all time, you'll notice that I actually still like this mint forest green, which the camera does not do this color justice at all. It also is because I'm recording on a phone. Um, I'm quite unable to purchase an actual camera right now. So the color is not really being done justice. It is a beautiful mix of a blue and a green color to make it this mint color with um, more emphasis on the green. So you'll see from the design, uh, for one, you have a always on display that I've customized to have the time on the side in red with notifications and that you can read it like this. I just like this look. It's very different than the other always on displays that I have. Samsung's and Google's can get a little bit boring sometimes. I like that you can kind of customize this a little bit more, um, even though you can customize Samsung with different things like pictures and analog clocks. I just like that this can kind of lay on the side. It's kind of cool to me. As far as for the IO of the phone, you have a headphone jack here, so that is still alive. You have your microphone up here for calls, an IR blaster if you wanna use this as a universal remote, which I'm sure many of you would actually want. How many times do you lose a remote? Just have your phone handy, download LG companion apps, Samsung Vizio companion apps, just use your phone. So much easier, you have it on you all the time. On the bottom, there's your SIM tray, which doubles as an SD card slot, so you can use expandable storage. You have another microphone to pick up your voice as well, speaker grill here, and a USB Type-C charging port. You have this, a dedicated smart key. This is uh, mappable to any action you want. I have it mapped to open the camera right now, so if I want to, I just hit that. It'll want me to unlock, and boom, there's a camera on this phone. Power button right here in the middle-ish, and then your larger volume rocker right on the top there. And then of course you have your antennas laying around cameras. This TCL has a camera system that is good, not great, but pretty good. Um, you have 64 megapixel main shooters that are spread across. Uh, you have a macro lens, different ultra wide angles, portrait modes, night modes, slow motion, different things like that. You have four sensors and you have two 
uh, LED lights. So that's actually kind of cool. You also have a standard here. But the LED lights is cool because you actually have two flashlights on the back of this thing, which for whatever reason do not light up nearly as much as I thought they would. I thought these would light up significantly more than they actually do. I will show you that in a minute, but they actually don't light up that much um, compared to other devices that I have. You do have face unlock, which I use pretty regularly for it. Um, this is what the screen will look like when you turn it on. Obviously, you have your on-screen fingerprint sensor. Pretty fast. I will say there are faster fingerprint sensors out there. Now, on-screen fingerprint sensors are always going to be slower than the quick draw ones that I have on phones like my Pixel, my Motorola One Action, on that TCL 10 5G. Um, those ones that are on the back that you can just quick draw like that are much faster than on-screen. But... This is pretty nice too, especially in a world where everyone is wearing masks right now. Having that is pretty nice. It's nice and fast. You know, it's not horrible. And you do, with on-screen fingerprint sensors, you do have to make sure that you're kind of hanging up, making it, you know, your contact point perfect. Now, doing this behind a tripod setup and a camera setup is a little bit more difficult. But again, it'll work 100% of the time and it'll work quickly 100% of the time. It's completely fine. We also have face unlock, which is pretty fast. For a phone like this, which doesn't have a high-end processor, that face unlock is pretty fast. I mean, I'm not even looking at the phone right now, and I'm putting it to the corner, and it is reading perfectly fine, which I liked. So even if I just put my eyes in the scanner in this front uh, teardrop notch area, it looks it recognizes my eyes perfectly fine and it unlocks very quickly. So I don't know I don't know how well you're seeing that on the camera, but it is reading my eyes pretty easily for me not giving much effort because I want to try and show the fact that it does unlock very quickly. That one you saw the corner a little bit and it did unlock very quickly. I'm not moving my head. My head is literally directly above the camera so I can see what the camera is recording. Um and so I'm not really giving this phone a lot of help in terms of its face unlock, and it's working perfectly fine. Running Android 10 out of the box, you will get support for sure to Android 11. We might get support to Android 12. I don't actually know for sure. It is a 60 hertz display, so it's not going to be terribly fast. You do have TCL's uh, user interface, which is essentially the same thing as stock Android. You do have a couple more preloaded apps. These are most of them here. So you'll have things like uh, Smart Manager, Smart Key, which is mappable to this, their own music player, a built-in compass app, uh, their own gallery viewer, their own calculator, Next Vision, which turn off immediately. It just blasts the hell out of colors, and I don't know why it does that. It, it makes the colors so bright, and you need to wear sunglasses, and it also kind of distorts them a little bit. It's not the best in the world. I feel like this display is more than capable of actually being quality when you turn Next Vision off. So if you do look at this phone, turn Next Vision off, you're not gonna really want that. Um, as far as the other features of this phone, let's go into the settings. So here we are in settings. Um, it wants me to set up a lot of stuff right now because I haven't set up things like Google Pay on this phone yet. You have your display, you do have a dark mode, you can turn off the notch if you want to and you can customize which apps will use the notch. Turn on dark mode. I have it set to turn on automatically. You can turn it on now, which that's what it's dark mode looks like. Again, camera is kind of blasting it. I don't have a quality camera right now. I'm also recording in the basement with a lot of yellow lighting, so it's not going to look that perfect. But it is a very nice dark mode. It just makes it a lot easier. You do have eye comfort mode, which will turn out the blues of the screen. Adaptive brightness. I turn that off all the time. I don't like it. Sleep, font size, ambient display, always on display, different things like that. We get out of display. Uh, you have different things. Smart manager, where you can manage your battery, advanced features, so system navigation, stream recorder, your edge bar, which is this right here, which I don't actually use that much, but you can use things like ruler. You can quick draw apps, different things like that. Driving mode for safe driving. If you have this up on a uh, mount of some sort and you need a map and you don't want to be bothered with notifications do not disturb is automatically turned on and you have it so that it's not as distracting 
uh, location privacy. You do have NFC on this phone, so you can do Doodle Pay in stores that accept it in a contactless world. TCL accounts, don't make that. It is a waste of time. System, digital well-being, Doodle services, all that good stuff. Your quick toggles are up here. So really quickly, I'm going to clear that because I have a lot of stuff on there. So quick toggles, you have a decent chunk of them here. Um, you do have your flashlight, which I was talking about earlier. That's what the flashlight looks like. And so it is not that bright. The camera actually makes it look a lot brighter. You can turn NFC on and off. I have my Do Not Disturb on because whenever I turn phones on, it gives me a ton of notifications because a lot of times my phones will die because I don't charge them all the time when I'm not using them. So I don't personally turn them on that much. Turn dark mode back off here. Um, you have battery saver, hotspot, one-handed mode to make the phone a little bit easier to use when you are using just one hand because this is, again, a 6.5-inch screen. Pretty large. But overall, for the device, I would definitely say that may have been a little bit better angle. You may have been able to actually see that one this time. You do have that curved screen, which I do really like, actually. It is a good-looking phone. A lot of people say that this is not a good-looking phone. I personally believe this is a very good-looking phone. It is different. It is not the same thing as iPhones and Samsungs that have this abnormally large camera bump like here in this area. I'm drawing a diagonal line. I don't know what person with a degree would design that. Like that, when that entire thing is just raised out a million feet and you put your camera down and it just wobbles like that. This flush camera. I don't have any wobble when I touch this. It's just moving simply. Um, other things for the TCL, honestly, the main concern for me is just whether or not it's going to get support for Android 12. I would really appreciate if it did. Now, TCL is, this is their first really big step into the phone market in terms of these more higher end, more expensive devices. I'm really hoping we get Android 12 for this phone because this is a beast of a phone in terms of display. Love watching videos on here. Great color, very fluid, beautiful display, and I want this to be a relevant phone for years to come. So that's pretty much it. Again, $449 is the suggested price from TCL for this device, but you can routinely find it for on a Best Buy for $50 to $100 off, depending on whether you're running any sales and any activation promos. You can find this on B&H Photo and Video uh, for $399 typically. Amazon runs a ton of sales for this phone, along with other TCL devices. Um, again, I bought mine for just south of $390 after taxes. Uh, this phone routinely on sale for $50 to $100 bucks off on Amazon, depending on when you check. Look out for Black Friday, because this is going to be a hot seller for Black Friday in terms of its price. They will likely cut this down 25 to 30% again, and for that price... This phone is really solid. I actually really recommend this device to anyone who doesn't want to spend a ton of money, but still wants premium features, frosted glass back that has minimal fingerprints, four cameras, nice, big, vibrant, beautiful display with always on, with NFC, always on display, fingerprint sensor, and fast charging. So definitely take a look at this phone if you are interested in it. Uh, let me know. I will drop some links in the description as far as purchasing this device. Otherwise, share this video if you enjoyed it. Like, uh, comment if you liked it. Like the video if you didn't like it. Dislike it. Let me know what I did wrong. Comment on the video if you have any feedback for me. If you want me to check out anything else, I will try my very best to get to it. Uh, subscribe if you're new. And thank you so much for watching the video. Once again, I am Trevor. And this is the TCL 10 Pro. So, with that being said... Thank you so much for watching the video, and we'll see you next time.